so man rank split two is almost over and the current meta is insane we're going to talk about it in this video let's do it welcome back warriors to another apex legends video today we're going to be talking about the current state of the meta when it comes to ranked competitive and just overall the current state of how the meta is for apex legends if you're new here consider subscribing to get all the best tips and tricks on how to improve your apex legends gameplay now let's get right into the video all right guys welcome back to the channel so today we're doing something a little bit different we're going to kind of go at this video as a discussion approach okay so today i wanted to talk about the current meta and how crazy it's been since ranked split two has happened okay we've had a lot of changes when it comes to um the current meta and we get these every season and i think it's great the current meta is pretty insane right now uh compared to previous seasons of apex but um i think it's really good i just first off i want to say that the current meta is not the best that we've seen but I think it's great that it changes so often like every season has been split into two now um for the last few seasons and i hope that that continues because then that way we know like you have a current meta shift every few months which is nice to keep things kind of spicy or keep things new and fresh and uh it really opens up the use of other legends and you know the frustrations of the community when it comes to certain things being used like for example in the gameplay you see me carrying the charge rifle if you guys don't remember when the charge rifle first came out that meta was nuts i mean everybody hated the charge rifle meta until it got nerfed so far into the ground that the gun is just okay now and uh in competitive we've seen a slight spike of teams that are using it again so you know it kind of takes time after the nerf for things to kind of balance itself out but it's worked out for the best now today's current meta we're not talking about pubs in this video disclaimer we're not talking about pubs we are talking about ranked meta and we are talking about competitive meta all right now these things change all the time competitive less changes but rank changes all the time now the reason i'm not including pubs is because there's not really a whole lot of skill based matchmaking although i mean there is but in my opinion i think you could pretty much use any legend when it comes to pubs and it just doesn't matter you can lose use any legend pub stomp like crazy drop 4k badges you know win with 20 kills and it really doesn't matter so i don't think that there's necessarily a meta when it comes to you know pubs or public games so for the purposes of this video we're going to keep it strictly on ranked like the gameplay you see in here i'm in diamond three and competitive the algs finals for uh regional season three just happened so we're going to be talking about all this in this video okay i'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet but all right let's talk about the ranked meta okay since season five split two of ranked um the biggest talk in the community is the caustic and revenant meta okay the big changes for both legends were necessary and i think it's very good but the way things have shaped out the revenant buffs were, have been just insane and uh, believe me let me know down in the comments guys how frustrated or what do you guys think about the revenant meta because to me i get so frustrated you know fighting revenant teams and the, it what seems like infinite lives that they have but first let's talk about cost before we get into revenant because that really gets me fired up so the caustic meta if you guys didn't you know you guys if you don't know you should know that you know gas was changed on caustic okay your teammates can move freely while opponents still face all the effects of damage plus the, the movement impairing effects of gas okay so i i really thought that like this was such a great buff and that the meta was going to shift so much and people would just hate on caustic now i do think it gets a little annoying because respawn went out of their way to really nerf in a sense watson you know because so many teams especially in ranked and competitive had trouble pushing you know watson controlled buildings and, and whatnot but now it's even worse in my opinion with caustic because your team can just move freely and destroy teams inside buildings and corridors and bunkers and all this stuff with his gas so but surprisingly enough the community responded very positively positively to caustic and there's not that much hate on him but i think that's because of revenant the current meta right now with ranked is you see revenant teams everywhere the worst one is the what we saw from tsm in the in the final regionals this past weekend or this past weekend which was the 
crypto revenant wraith team like crypto revenant is insane when you pop a crypto alt on top of a portal on top of a rev alt and there's just it's so hard to combat okay fighting those teams revenant teams is just super annoying it's hard enough to beat one team you know straight up but then it's you know without third parties but it's even harder to fight teams that have two lives okay the range on it i think is fine but the fact that once you defeat a revenant push they come back with half health with full shields depending on how close they are it seems like it's almost impossible to fight that and win it okay if your team is coordinated enough and positioned well enough to fight off a revenant team then it's not so bad but for the majority of the time you're coming in with revolts on third parties you know uh they're coming in they shoot you damage revolt they come in and, and clean you up some more and then they're so close that you have no chance to even combat it so i think that the revenant meta has frustrated the community into the ground like for me i know that facing revenant teams is just so annoying and there's nothing you can do about it nothing you can do about it and you know the, i guess the biggest thing that you could do is probably run or if your team is positioned well enough you can fight it but Otherwise, it's insanely tough, insanely tough to fight a Revenant team without like losing your mind. Now, some of the pros that come from the meta shifting so fast as you know, before it lasted a whole season, right? If you think back to season two, we had the longbow meta, which lasted the full season. All right, now with the splits, they change every few months, which I think is great. So the biggest positives out of the meta shifts in this game is things stay fresh. You know, we get a new meta, we get new legends that are shifted. So, you know, these legends are used more often because if you look at Revenant when he was first released, everybody was super hyped for him, but nobody really used him. He just wasn't that good when it came to, you know, the game. Like other legends were just better and people were just in, you know, entrenched in these other legends. For me, I was super hyped for Revenant, but his abilities and his loadout kind of lacked. So I think that the meta shifts helps with legends being used like for example loba just got released and you know people use her in pubs and stuff but when it comes to ranked or competitive she's not even on the map i mean so like what is respawn going to do to kind of tilt that that way for you know these other legends to be used more often so those are kind of the pros when it comes to that the cons are with the meta shifts is is that once you get used to something it changes so you know you're used to one thing and you know it changes and it sucks and messes up your day you know like back when i mentioned back in season two or if you were a charge rifle guy they nerfed that into the ground or recently the havoc if you were a havoc guy they've nerfed it into the ground you know if you're if you can control the recoil you're still gonna like bug out with it you know you're still gonna laser people but you know those things change and it kind of sucks and then you are forced to change your play style the guns you use or the legends you want to use etc so those are like that's one of the cons the biggest the other big con is just the community hates it I mean, right now, there's some pros that don't even want to play ranked because of the rev meta. So, you know, it kind of distills that a little bit. And I know a lot of people just don't even want to play ranked because of how bad third parties are with rev alts. I mean, fighting a team with two lives is just so difficult. It's so hard. But it's one of those things, like, if you're doing it to people, it's really fun. But if it's getting done to you, it's the most frustrating thing in the world. All right, guys, let's move on to the competitive meta, the comp meta. <clears throat> the ALGS Summer Circuit Finals just happened over this weekend. It was insane if you guys didn't watch it. If you didn't, go check it out. I'm sure there's a vlog somewhere on their YouTube channel at Play Apex. Go check that shit out. It was literally insane. <clears throat> but comp, the meta really hasn't changed too much. Besides TSM and then um, the, the team that won the event, uh, the, the meta hasn't really changed. You still see Pathfinder, Wraith, gibby teams pathfinder wraith watson teams and wraith gibby watson teams tsm changed with they use the rev crypto wraith um meta and then the team that won i cannot remember their their team name but uh they used gibby wraith and bloodhound so i mean the meta really hasn't shifted you got a splash of revenant crypto and bloodhound those are the only three other legends that were used in the finals otherwise it was the same five oh and not to mention there was two teams that used a gibby wraith and caustic um you know comp which was pretty interesting to see at the highest level that the apex legends has played so but for the majority the comp really hasn't changed it's the same five legends it's wraith gibby watson uh pathfinder 
Like those are the four legends. Or excuse me, yeah, four legends instead of five. It's those four legends that are used, just changed in and out depending on your team's play style. And you know, this has been going on for, you know, comp has really taken off for like, get ready to go on a year or so since it's really been taken serious. Um, but like, what changes are they gonna make to mix these up so every team isn't using those same legends right i mean almost every team is using those same four and it just depends on your team's play style if you're using you know wraith gibby path or wraith gibby watson and i mean even some of the nerfs to watson and gibby like in the rework to wraith like these legends are still among the most powerful in the game so the changes that they've made to like revenant and crypto you know spark interest but are they really going to be effective you know long term when it comes to competitive apex legends I don't know we'll see have to see how like the algs continues this year and see what changes are made especially with season six around the corner but in my opinion i don't think it's going to change too much i mean depending on this new legend that's coming whether it's crypto sister or it's you know uh loba's you know cre you know created thing or whatever it was that was from titanfall 2 i am blanking on it right now guys but if it's that character or if it's crypto sister i mean who knows and whether that's going to shape up the meta I mean, me personally, I thought Loba was going to change the game and give Wraith a run for her money. But in the end, she just like kind of fell on deaf ears, man. She just really wasn't turning out to be the legend that I thought she was. So competitive Apex Legends uses the same four legends, essentially. Ranked meta has changed constantly. All right, guys, I hope today's video, you guys really did enjoy it. Um, this is something different that we did. It can more of like a discussion video. If you guys want to see more discussion videos about Apex Legends, current meta topics that you want to see, let me know down in the comments. And also let me know what do you think of uh, the current meta and the state of it? What things you would change, if any? If you guys do enjoy this, though, hit the like button. That really does help me out. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, guys. We're almost at 700 subscribers. Like, the amount of support you guys have been giving me the last few months has been insane with the constant uploads that I'm doing. So thank you guys so much. But make sure to subscribe if you guys want more tips and tricks on how to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. And as for me, Warlug, as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.